From WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Welcome back on your Thursday morning. Starting off the day with some patchy fog out in our Corning Sky Camp. So this will reduce visibility close to zero in some cases. Make sure you're taking your time out on the roadways, but we should see this tapering off in the next few hours. As you're heading out the door, though, and the kids are heading off to the school bus, make sure they're wearing that extra layer of temperatures. Really just hanging in the 30s to start off your day. 38 up in Penyon, looking like the warmest. We're at 31 in Corning, 34 in Tawanda, and 35 in Mansfield, Pennsylvania to kick off your day. Good news is, though, we're going to be tracking some warmer conditions and some drier weather on the way as high pressure builds over the area. Now, the last couple of mornings, we have been dealing with lake enhanced rain showers passing through the region. This morning, dry weather, but some Partly cloudy skies out there. You actually will notice a lot of that cloud cover decreasing as the day goes on and some sunny skies to end it all out in some warmer conditions in the mid to upper 50s. We're still though going to be on the below average side before temperatures jump to above average temperatures pretty much into the weekend and for the first half of next week. But let's take a look at tonight's low temperatures because we are expecting a bit of clearing, so we are going to lose that blanket of cloud cover that will keep us warm overnight. You'll see these low temperatures dropping into the upper 20s and low 30s for tonight. Along with that, though, tracking some celestial events across the twin tiers. Let's start off with Comet A3. Best viewing will be 8 to 8.30 p.m. And the best look for that will be, again, 45 minutes pretty much after sunset and looking to the west. You'll be able to see it with your naked eye. But for the best view of it, I definitely recommend using a camera, whether it's your phone camera or, you know, if you have a nice camera and feel free to send us any pictures you do get of the comet. Another celestial event we're looking at tonight is the Hunter's Moon. And we are talking about this and trending. We have more details up on our Facebook as well. But the appearance was once a signal for hunters to prepare in the winter. Not only is it the full moon for October, it's also a super moon. So we're going to see it be 8% bigger and 16% brighter. If you can get the comet and the moon, though, together, that would be amazing. And I'd love to see that picture. This moon does peak, though, at 726 Eastern Standard Time this morning, but again, we're going to have a bit of cloud cover overhead, so it might be difficult to see. Now, high pressure will be building over the next couple of days, and we are looking at pretty much sunny skies ending out the week and continuing into this upcoming weekend, bringing some drier weather and some pleasant temperatures for anything you might have planned this upcoming weekend. Let's start off at 59 today and partly sunny, sunshine on Friday and Saturday, mid 60s and getting into the 70s by Saturday. We'll be in the low to mid 70s starting on Sunday and continuing for the first half of next week with some dry conditions in store.